All right, here's day two of the vlog. I don't know if I'll do this every day, but I'll just do it when I have things that are on my mind. And usually it'll probably come from the truck here because, you know, driving into work is always a good time to think and kind of keep open. I do need to figure out some mounts in here. Um, I'll be exploring some mounts and stuff in here to maybe talk and drive. But uh, for right now, we'll just do this. Um, so a lot of stuff lately in the press and on the in media everything you see is about AI so I use chat GPT and um, mid journey a lot um, I use chat GPT to co-create the blog and mid journey for the um, featured images when I can um, I'm gonna use them more so I've used them a lot I've tried them a lot experimented a lot I think they're a great um, partner uh, co-creator brainstorming partner coach you name it so there's a lot of things it does for me personally and we can get into that a little bit later but I also watched a documentary the other day about AI in the military so I'm ex-military ex-navy um, I really pay attention to a lot of that what's going on you know and everything's moving to drones and there's a lot of different things going on good bad all the pluses and minus but one of the things about the AI they said that they were doing now is one working on swarms you know swarms of drones and things like that but there was one interesting part where they took a pilot one of the best pilots in the air force that was you know graduated from the air force's version of top gun and put him against an ai in a virtual reality setting and ai won and it got better and better so a lot of people say well you know ai is going to take our jobs what i found from that and a lot of people aren't mentioning or talking about it what AI is good at is failing. They ran scenarios over and over and over and over. Uh, there are stories of the guy you know, running through scenarios, and in two hours it could best whoever was going against it. Um, because it looks at all of the data, it tries all the variations in a millisecond, and it can tell you which one is going to work. So it's not really finding solutions, it's finding all the failures super fast. So... Maybe that's the big difference between AI and us humans is I think we don't give ourselves, I know me personally, I don't, um, and I try to do better, we don't give ourselves enough room to fail. So in the creative industry, let's reference that into when I was in college and I was a uh, studying to be a fine art uh, painting, a painter and sculptor, I had a professor that was just a crude, rude person. And I told him one time that, you know, we needed room to fail more. And he said that, oh, yeah, obviously, you're good at failure. You know, everything had to be perfect. Everything we drew had to be a work of art. And that, you know, I didn't fill up my drawing uh, books. If I go back and look at them, I didn't fill them out. I didn't sketch a lot. I didn't do, because they would turn them in for a grade. You had to, everything had to be perfect. You know, you got uh, squashed for trying sometimes. And even in corporate America and where I work today, if you work in media especially, everybody has, uh, no matter how it's your skill level, no matter how long you've been doing it, there's always somebody that has some issue, you know, or some opinion, um, usually not based in facts or not usually based in any creative decisions, just that they don't like it or they want it done their way. And same thing with business startups you know we have to get it perfect the first time or you're going to go broke or you're going to go bankrupt so figure out a way for yourself to fail you know and you hear this in silicon valley a lot fail fast fail often um and i do believe it i think you have to fail over and over and over and over the key part is you have to learn from the failure so that's where the ai right it learns from its mistakes and it makes adjustments um and it takes one problem and it works on it works on it works on it I think we too often work on it, get discouraged and quit or um, keep working on it and other people around us tell us to quit. Um, so it takes a lot of fortitude to fail. It takes a lot of fortitude to keep trying. It takes a lot of fortitude to keep going forward. I failed plenty of times, especially in this space in you know YouTube content creation, uh, creative processes I've failed a lot um, I've succeeded a couple of times and I've tried to recreate that um, and I, I really the onus is on me I haven't tried hard enough and I haven't put things out um, I think that's the only saving grace of people like say Gary Vaynerchuk that say just create content create content create a lot of it because um, there is some truth to um, 
getting it out there, failing, not kind of worried about it, just, just record and do stuff. You know, people will say that all the time. Do learn the skills. Do try to make yourself better. Do the research. Practice. Get better. But try to fail more. So, and you can limit your, um, when I say fail, I'm not saying you have to go all the way to broke every time you have an idea, but set yourself up to um, not lose a lot when you fail. Um, if you're starting a new business, do the ideas and concepts first. That's one thing AI is great about is you can run scenarios. I use ChatGPT to run business plan scenarios, pricing scenarios, um, strategy scenarios, and I'll do that in my free time, and it really helps me think about the problem. Um, that I go home at night, I think about what I discovered, and then I'll come back again the next day and run it through some more processes. So that's one way to do it, but do it more often. Fail more, uh, try harder, but keep failing, don't lose faith, and maybe that's the only way we can beat AI. We have to fail more, and fail, 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 as fast as AI does, but to always learn from those failures and turn around and make adjustments on where you're headed. All right, well, that's it for today. And uh, if you like content like this, this is kind of the more stuff that I'm going to be doing. Um, you can please like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm at 145 subscribers, so my goal right now is to um, get to the 500, 500 likes or 500 followers. That gives me access to the monetization for YouTube. So that is the goal of this channel is to reach monetization and make a sustainable living off of my creativity and my unique perspective. So if you like this, please hit the subscribe button, like, follow, all that good stuff. Um, you can sign up here for the blog, for the newsletter. I haven't, I don't have one yet that I'm sending out, but I'd love to have your email address so we can stay connected and follow on the social medias. All right, we'll see you later. Have a great day.